Hey. 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 It's been a long road. I think it was always coming here. You know? You've opened yourself up a lot more than I expected. Especially to Joan and Anna. You're finally back on the right path. I believe some of the credit is mine. It's real easy for you to judge me from your space inside my head. I'd say we've had a good thing going. It was tough, but you made compromises. You adapted to other people. Wasn't it nice to feel accepted? We've had our moments, but they never felt authentic. I understand why you'd feel that way. The two halves of your world, they just don't mix. There's Sam, the well-adjusted human. And there's Sam, the depressed, truth-obsessed misanthrope who doesn't realize objective reality is a subjective myth. I'll tell you what the truth is. To be happy, sometimes you need to focus on people and not things. Facts. What? They're facts, not things. And they should matter to everyone. Yeah, well, they don't. They might not even matter at all. Tell Nick that. Look, you've been helping me for a long time, even now. My world may fall apart, you'd still be here. Of course, though you did handle your panic attacks just fine on your own lately. But we both know I can't be split in two directions. I have to pick a track. Go along with me, be a part of society, be happy. Let things go, accept the expectations of others. Stop pretending you're someone else. Or keep looking for a truth that may not exist and leave everyone else behind. But seeing the world for what it is, being able to make a difference, no matter the consequences. It's time. Two roads, and you can only take one. is worth more than any of us. Damn society. Damn being happy. I was afraid you'd say that. But you have to be you. I'll see you around. No, you won't, Sam. But good luck. The world is an ugly place when you can really see it. Sam, we don't have time for this.
no cell reception. If anything happens, we're on our own. Declan arrives, he's gonna see the car. He'll know someone is here. Declan could be here already. I should be careful. Syringes, bottles. Basswood has been having a tough few years. <laughs> Falling off is the least of my worries right now. Finally pull yourself out of your day long enough to join me. You really scared me there. It won't happen again. I'm here. 100%. I hope so. I need you right now. I'm hoping this is the end of all this. One way or another. So much darkness, so fast. Nick. Dennis. I'm ready to see it end. We don't both need to do this. You can go home if you want. Maybe you should. And just abandon you out here? Besides, I need to see things through. If Declan really killed Nick, I want to put him behind bars myself. You're not the only one. We should get back to finding those files. Any luck yet? I can't find them anywhere. Did Dickie say where the dead drop was? He didn't. We'll have to keep looking for it. Did you already go through that side? I've been looking everywhere. So far, all I've found is a lot of gum under tables. Declan could be here any minute. Let's hurry it up. <sighs> the dead drop doesn't seem to be here. Too exposed. This would be the class choice, but no. Nothing. I don't see it. Burying it would be a lot of work for Dickie. A precarious path out into the dark. Not a bad metaphor for my life right now. I don't know why I let this place haunt me for so long. Nowhere to hide USB sick here. Rotten food. Probably too gross even for someone like Dicky. Found it. Did? Let me see. With this? We'll be able to put Declan behind bars and clear your name. Come on. Hold it there, boss. Whoa. Declan. Now, you two just relax. We're here for the same reason. Now, all you have to do is give me what you found in that there lockbox. You... How could you look everyone in the eye and lie to them? You went to his wake? You drank with his friends? Yeah. It was harder than you think. What happened to the cop defending this hound? You don't know nothing about losing the reins. Simple things breaking so bad, 
It'd just get more out of control until... Try busting your ass for people that don't respect you for just cop salary. I spent years serving this town. I actually believed in what I was doing, too. And then you murdered Nick. Don't start thinking I enjoyed doing it. It just had to be done. It was just the same as with that drunk fool, Dennis. All I wanted was to see how much he knew and get him to keep his mouth shut. Turns out he knew more than he should have. It doesn't have to end the same way this time. There's always another option. Almost sounds like you wising up some, Higgs. Doesn't look like you're willing to take the same fall for two years ago. Fuck that common good shit, right? You always seem to care about this town. Its history, its people. Why do this? I care more about this town than anyone. I've spent my whole life protecting it. Everybody's happy to shake my hand and say how grateful they are. But as soon as you turn around, they'll stab you in the back. Eventually, I realize that's how people are. The only thing left is to adapt. Help keep a lid on things. And if someone's got a profit, might as well be me. Nick and Dennis, that part wasn't supposed to happen. But here we are. And I'm done leaving behind loose ends. Think and move fast. Stay one step ahead of Declan. If I make even a single mistake, there are no second chances this time. He murdered Nick. He murdered Dennis, and he'll murder us. If I can predict his next moves, we might be able to get the upper hand. Who he is will tell me what he'll do. I could try going for his gun. Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. I could tackle Declan to get him off Anna. Muley, it's time to give it your all. Don't underestimate Declan. He's stronger than he looks. Anna's got maybe a couple of seconds tops before he overpowers her. You gotta find a way to stop him, Sam. He'll kill you both. Declan came to tie up loose ends that night. Asshole shot me with my own gun. There's a good chance he took it. Still, Still had it on him. You need to watch out. You're no good to anyone, Dad. Take it from me. This is dangerous. I have to weigh my options carefully. No margin for error. I could grab his gun. But that would only work if Anna keeps Declan occupied. Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. If Anna can keep him busy a bit longer, I'll be able to close in on Declan. side and use the element of surprise. It'll only work if I can predict what he'll do next. Think, Sam. Anna's been shot. I need to help her, and fast. No more mistakes, Sam. 
You know Devin's killed two people already. Put them in the dirt. But he kills for reasons, yeah? He wants, he wants to destroy, destroy the evidence. Since your girlfriend has it. You better act fast, man. Declan might attack me now. You don't have to fight, just leave. None of this has to ever hurt you again. I'm done running. That man is a monster. And he'll kill, kill you and my little girl as soon as spit. But he ain't dumb. If he uses his service gun, it'd be traced back to him. And he's been covering the track so far. Anna's been shot. I need to help her, and fast. No more mistakes, Sam. Declan might continue going after Anna. Declan might go for his gun. If I can predict Declan's next action, I'll have a chance to get the dump on him. If Declan heads this way, I should wait here and ambush him. If Declan tries to get his gun, he won't see an attack from the left. If Declan goes after Anna, my best move is to strike from the right. Evidence now. You need another bullet? Wait. Here. Take it. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> if I don't do something, we're dead. But if I do the wrong thing. Account for all the elements at play here. That worked, but Anna's bleeding out. I need to take care of Devin quick. I could rush him and try and take his gun out of the equation. Anna's really, really hurt. That ugly yellow phone may be the only way, way to get her help quickly enough. That big jerk's not stupid. I'll probably keep an eye on that phone. I could try calling for help. I could get behind cover. You have to save Anna. We dragged, dragged her into this mess. I dragged her into this mess. If you could destruct Declan, Anna might have time, time to get the gun. Keep his eyes, eyes on you, Sam. Anna's been shot. I need to help her, and fast. No more mistakes, Sam. Declan is focused on me. I have to make this moment count. If I dodge, I'll save for the moment, but what then? I'll lose sight of Declan and he might focus on Anna. Going for the phone would bring Declan's focus onto me. But if the phone gets damaged, I might not be able to use it later.
if I can get close enough, I can stop Declan from using his gun. It's definitely risky. has been shot. I need an ambulance. Just hurry. Okay, good. Stay with me. You have to stay with me. I'm fine. Don't worry. And Anna, Anna, please. Harry James at 104.3 WVCK, the basswood sound. You heard the news today? The local cop who died in that fatal shooting last week is apparently the head of a small opioid ring right here in Basswood. Brady. It's believed he used his position to bring in drugs from all over the county and that he murdered two people in an attempted cover-up. Good news, however. The journalist who was wounded while confronting the rogue cop was released from the hospital today. Looks like I'm not the only one who's come to visit Anna. Sam, hold your horses. Anna's busy with the sheriff. You should probably give him a moment or two. Sure, Joe. How you been? How have I been? Son, I appreciate you being here to Anna, but you don't change what happened. My girl's hurt. Real bad. Why didn't you promise? Did you know you couldn't protect her? That was part of it, yes. I was afraid it was going to be dangerous. Next time, maybe find someone else's daughter get shot. I didn't force Anna to come with me. She was there because she wanted to be. She was there because you started rocking the damn boat again. Ah. Go talk to my daughter before I change my mind and kick you out. Where are Dad's notebooks? The yellow legal pad ones? You can get them later. You need to say hello to the guests who just arrived. The yellow ones were Dad's favorites. I want to start Joan? using them. Uh, they gotta be here somewhere. Just Joan give me Aldrin. a minute. Don't make me say it again. Fine. I guess it doesn't really matter. Careful, Muley. She's in one of her moods. I'm sorry you had to see that. It was hard before, but now she's completely shut me out. It's not surprising given what happened. This town is no place for a teenager. Kathy, now is the time to get out of Basswood. You don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. You've always managed to get Dawn to talk to you. Any advice? 
Kathy, when did you start taking opioids? What? What does that have to do with... What do you think happens if someone finds out and reports you? You could lose your job. How dare you? You don't know anything about what I've been through. I don't, but it doesn't change the facts. You need to get help. Oh, and who's gonna look after Joan in the meantime? Who'll pay for the treatment, huh? Don't you have family in the region? Well, I... There is my sister down in Virginia, but I... But you're not on good terms, Joan told me. Still, you don't have a choice if you intend to keep custody of her. You've always been a cold-hearted asshole. You know that? Do her a favor and forget about us for good this time. Hey, Bug. Hey, Muley. How are you holding up? Fine, I guess. Well, at least that's what most people want me to say when they ask. Come on, Bug. I want to know how you feel. How you really feel. I guess... better today than yesterday? Maybe? I still miss Dad. But finding out what happened to him... I don't know. Makes me feel a bit better. It's not bad that it makes me feel better, right? No, it's not bad. I feel the same way. Hey, Muley. Are you staying around this time? I can't stay, Bug. Oh. I talked to your mom. She's gonna try to do better by you. So, try to do better by her, too. All right? It won't be easy, but I know you're strong enough. Uh, I'll try. I'm gonna miss you, Muley. I'll really miss you. Me too, Bug. I need to find Anna. Call me whenever you want to. Deal? Yeah. Deal. You better send me a text every now and then, Muley. Walter. Sano, my boy. As I live and breathe. I kept meeting to call, but phones are so... impersonal. How are you holding up? Well, let's say that I've had better weeks. Not a hard thing to believe. You went through something terrible, but I'm glad you came out the other end. I've had to brush myself with the Maker here and there, and I would never call them fun. Not fun at all. Life affirming, though, definitely, even for those close to you, it leaves a mark. Now, two members of my family of heart are gone. One is wounded. It might be time for me to finally hang up my saddle. But that's what Jungle has printed its last pages. It making you think it's finally the right time to retire, huh? Believe me, it doesn't feel right one bit, but my flame has run its course. Without Nick. Without Dennis. You can't run a paper by yourself. Nor would I want to. Well, I, I've taken up enough of your time. I'll leave you to the other guests. Drop me a line sometime. Drop me a line. We don't know where we're going in life, but we can learn from where we've been. And you make sure to push yourself. Get some fresh air. Don't let these doctors keep you cooped up for too long now. Oh, Sam, you're finally here. I was looking for you. Now I know you've been through hell and back. I know that. If there's anything the Basswood Police Department can do for you, or even just little old me, you give me a holler, all right? For now, well, I got some good news for you for once found Declan's fingerprints on Dennis's gun. And since your testimony and Anna's corroborate Nikki's statement, no charges are going to be filed against you or Anna. It's clear self-defense. 
Still hard to believe a man I trusted was running a drug ring. Here. I'm gonna make sure that what happened to Nick is big news. I know you will, sweetie. Just keep something in mind. I think God put an angel and a devil in each of us when we're born. We spend our whole lives watching them fight it out. And most days, that little angel comes out on top. But we all have times when it's the devil who's in charge. There's no devil or angel to blame. Declan became a dirty cop and you didn't see it. You're entitled to your opinion. Everyone is. No, I do my best. Well, I'd love to stay, but I'm afraid duty calls. Look after yourself, Sam. Though I guess you always do, huh? Stay away from me and my daughter. Don't waste all your time with me. My daughter will want to see you. So much stuff. Anna won't have to buy food for weeks. I guess it's their way of making her feel better. So... So... I wasn't sure you'd show up at all. I meant to get here before, but... You look better? <laughs> better than last week, I guess, but that's setting a low bar. It could have been even worse if you hadn't... You, you saved my life. I'm also the reason you're in danger. Except you aren't. Dickie would've still broken into my house. It's true. I really wish we'd gotten what was in those files. The guy who was behind it all broke his neck trying to kill us. Gate closed. I, uh... Yeah. I mean, I guess. You guess? You're alive! Let it go and enjoy having lived! I am. I am enjoying it. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> so what are you going to do next with your unshot and healthy body? I'll finish up Nick's article. It's the least I can do for him. It's the least we can do. We'll finish the article together. Uh-huh. I should go. I had a feeling you would say that. You stay out of trouble, Sam Higgs. And maybe don't wait so long to dart my doorstep again. I guess we'll just have to see, won't we? Mr. Higgs, not surprised to see you here. I'm a little surprised to see you. Just giving my well wishes to Miss Miller. You did the right thing rooting out that ruffian. The town is better for it. Right or wrong, it doesn't feel good. People got hurt. That may be true. Still, 
what you did helped everyone. It really bolstered the common good. Be proud. Common good. I've heard that before. Common good. 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 Check on Joan. Who overheard me and Dennis talking? Who told Declan? Your barroom brawl. I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Nick suspected drug ring flourished after the mine closed. I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. Common good. Common good. Common good. Young man, is everything all right? How dare you? How dare you even come here? You insult his memory by even being here. I wasn't trying to give offense. I, I knew. Nick never put it together. He was too close. It was you. What exactly are you trying to say? It wasn't enough to be a pill mill like every other two-bit pharmacy. You've been skimming. Extra boxes lost, records forged, ending up with Declan. Now, nah. that is a very serious accusation. The kind without proof would never hold up. Kathy has to have the specifics. She's nervous, and probably scared. But your trigger man is gone. Do you think she'll stay scared? Three people are dead. Their trails all lead back to you. You seem to have me confused for a criminal mastermind. I'm just a small town businessman. I go where there's opportunity. And I've helped this town. I've created jobs, I've invested. I never forced anyone to do anything. I've only given people what they wanted. What they needed. I was here. I rolled up my sleeves and I got to work. Where were you? Three. There are three dead people at your feet and one person badly injured. Don't pretend anything excuses that. I'm not asking for you to explain, I just wanted you to know. I wanted to look you in the eye before I brought your whole world down. Joe, Kathy, Joe. Don't you threaten them. I would never, but you do. Why do you think Nick never wrote his article? Never went to the police? Just say whatever lies you think will save you. Very well. If you insist, a little girl's future and a girlfriend with aging father both cost money. People always find ways to get what they want. 
The question is who profits? Criminals, mobsters, lowlifes? Take out the middleman and a worse one slides in. Nick understood as much. He wasn't like that. You didn't know him. Did you? He was going to bury the story. No, that... I... The money at the fishing shack, he... He never used it. Because he was coming for seconds. What Nick did is irrelevant. What matters is what you'll be doing. If you drop this misguided effort to accuse a kindly old man of heinous acts, I promise Kathy, Joe, and Joan will want for nothing. However, if you follow through with this foolishness, I only doubt I'd spend even a single day behind bars. I'm old. I have money and lawyers, and when I speak, people listen. But what of Nick? Who took bribes, buried the truth? What will his daughter think? When I have no choice but to reveal he is just another dirty reporter. And let's not forget poor Kathy, who worked directly for me. It would at least cost her her job. Isn't being a single parent hard enough? Don't throw their lives away, Sam. Learn from your mistakes. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna finish what Nick started. Maybe you'll go to jail, maybe not. But people will know what you did. And they'll all know the common good never factored in. You did it all for yourself. I'll make sure the life you've built burns for it. Well, folks, I hope you've got your seatbelts on, because we've got one nasty story coming up. Two years ago, West Virginia, a small mine in town loses its mind. Income plummets, unemployment skyrockets. The stage is set for an unscrupulous pharmacist to roll into town. Two years later, over one million pills were shipped to the small West Virginia town of Basswood, many sold right here on our streets. The article by journalist Samuel Higgs goes on. Information brought to light in this article led to the investigation of Hugh Kirkland, a seemingly respectable senior who turned out to be the mastermind behind this kill mill scheme. The Basswood Police Department is now under investigation. How the small town of Basswood can recover from such a blow is anyone's guess. All right, time to kick up your feet on the dashboard. Mr. Higgs, not surprised to see you here. I'm a little surprised to see you. I'm just giving my well wishes to Miss Miller. You did the right thing rooting out that ruffian. The town is better for it. I just got in over my head. I wasn't looking to fix anything. People that do real good rarely are. What you did helped everyone. Really bolstered the common good. Be proud.
common good. I've heard that before. Common, common, good. common, good. common, common, good. common, good. 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 common good. good shit, right? Good shit, right? Good shit, right? No, she'll say. She'll say. Calm down. Think of the common good. Understand. It's not that easy to leave. Kathy, could she be the supplier? Get out the way. Something's missing. How did Declan know I was meeting Dennis? Heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. Check on Joan. Who overheard me and Dennis Hawking? Who told Declan? You are a brawl. I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Dick suspected drug ring flourished after the mine closed. I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. Common good. Common good. Common good. Young man, is everything all right? You. You're a sociopath. A monster. What? Young man, I know you've been under a lot of strain lately. Nick never put it together. He was too close. It was you. What exactly are you trying to say? It wasn't enough to be a pill mill like every other two-bit pharmacy. You've been skimming. Extra boxes lost, records forged, ending up with Declan. Nah. That is a very serious accusation. The kind that, without proof, would never hold up. I saw Dicky picking up a box from your pharmacy. I know he was a dealer. I can draw a straight line through him. Three people are dead. Their trails all lead back to you. You seem to have me confused for a criminal mastermind. I'm just a small town businessman. I go where there's opportunity. And I've helped this town. I've created jobs I've invested. I never forced anyone to do anything. I've only given people what they wanted. What they needed. I was here. I rolled up my sleeves and I got to work. Where were you? It doesn't bother you, does it? The things you've done? I'm not asking for you to explain. I just wanted you to know. I wanted to look you in the eye before I brought your whole world down. Joe, Kathy, Joe. Don't you threaten them. I would never, but you do. Why do you think Nick never wrote his article? Never went to the police? Kathy was always in the way. You used Kathy as a shield. Come now, you knew him. You think he was so easily misguided? A little girl's future and a girlfriend with an aging father both cost money. People always find ways to get what they want. The question is who profits? Criminals? Mobsters? Lowlifes? Take out the middleman and a worse one slides in. Nick understood as much. He wasn't like that. You didn't know him. Did you? He was going to bury the story? It doesn't matter what lies you tell. I knew who Nick really was. Admirable, if misguided. People really show their friends who they really are. What Nick did is irrelevant. 
What matters is what you'll be doing. If you drop this misguided effort to accuse a kindly old man of heinous acts, I promise, Kathy, Joe, and Joan will want for nothing. However, if you follow through with this foolishness, I only doubt I'd spend even a single day behind bars. I'm old. I have money and lawyers, and when I speak, people listen. But what of Nick? Who took bribe? Buried the truth? What will his daughter think? When I have no choice but to reveal he is just another dirty reporter. And let's not forget poor Kathy, who worked directly for me. It would at least cost her her job. Isn't being a single parent hard enough? Don't throw their lives away, Sam. Learn from your mistakes. Fine. I'll keep your dirty little secret. Just know, I'll be keeping tabs on you. If I ever hear Kathy, Joan, or Joe want for anything. Never. Kathy will get a raise, college for Joan, and Joe won't miss another medical payment ever again. As long as you keep your word, I will care for them like I do for this town. Don't you worry. Don't you worry at all. This is Carrie James at 104.3 WVCK, the best wood sound. Heard the news today? Fresh details emerged about the opioid scandal in Basswood. Chief Bess Mitchell is with us today to explain the situation. Chief Mitchell, what can you tell us? Well, there's a real barrel of snakes, Carrie. The deaths of the Basswood jungle employees is an unforgivable tragedy. It was the work of a single corrupt officer. We believe Officer Declan was trying to cover up his connection to the local drug trade. With this bad element removed, I assure you we have everything under control. I want to let everyone in Basel know it won't be long before we have this drug problem wrapped up. I wish I could say this was a new story around here, but it's a cycle we've seen time and time again around these parts. All right, time to kick up your feet on the dashboard. We've got a bit of easy listen coming up. Someone hit off my dad's medical bills. Was that you? Where did you even get that kind of money? This is too much. You can't... Look, call me back. Swan boats. The days are changing. Can't seem to recall. My true given name I see my footprints How they come, how they go Was that yesterday? Or only a moment ago? My heart is gone 